Hello readers all over the world. My name is Frank Kaushenga and I'm here to introduce to you Endurance. Endurance, a sure shot to victory by General Edward Katumba Wamala. This is our author of this year. We have taken some time to, a long time, to write this book. And I'm happy that the general out of his very busy schedules could take off time to write this book. Let's look out for this book. It has got very inspiring stories, very transformational stories, touching all divides of life, whether you are a youth. A parent, a professional, or an armed soldier, or in the army, wherever you are, it is a 360 impartation that is well laid out in here that you do not want to miss. Find it. It will be in bookstores, in the libraries, online, all over the world. We'll be ready to deliver this book. Look out for it and have the joy of reading a book by a four-star general. Hello viewers, my name is Frank Kabushenga and I'm happy to bring you our author of the year. I'm the CEO at TFK Luminary Publishers and we are blessed to have got an opportunity to publish General Edward Katumba Wamala's book entitled Endurance, a sure shot to victory. It's been a, a long journey and I felt that as we work towards the launch that is scheduled to take place on the 16th of November at Hotel Africana, the general should come out and tell us, just briefly, what is it that he has unveiled for us? General Katumba, you're very welcome to this uh, show. Thank you very much. And uh, I know it's never easy to write a book. Yeah. And especially for someone like you who has uh, a very demanding schedule. But regardless of it all, you chose to take off time and write a book. What could be, I'm, I know there must be many inspirations, but what is it that uh, you would pick out as the most outstanding that moved you to say, let me tell my story? Thank you very much. I think everyone has a story. Yep. Everyone has a story behind him. Mm. And my story, I, what, what motivated me most was uh, that I thought I should be able to communicate the youth the young generation mm. about my experience my story and because many people have been asking mm. how did you make it to general they think gen some people thought maybe you wake <laughs> up one day and tomorrow you're general. you're general but i wanted to communicate to the, to, to the young especially the young generation yes to understand what i've gone through mm. so to be able to make it to where i am yes that is mainly what i wanted to that's what inspired me uh, to, to, to leave this story behind. Mm. But somebody who behind me, mm. a young guy from a disadvantaged family, for example, from the islands where I come from. Yeah. But if he picks this book, he will, he will be motivated yes. to know that even if I'm coming as far as the islands of Fumve uh -huh. or uh, uh, Bukasa yeah. or Bufumira, I can make it in life. All right. Yeah. Now, talking about the writing, the, the, the purpose of writing, of, of reading and writing, in your view, what, do you, what would you share to the audiences uh, about the importance of reading and writing, especially besides reading for academic pursuits or professional improvement? Mm. Yes. When you pick a book and you, you, know, you go through the pages, yeah. one will definitely find something. Uh, you, you, Either the person's experience, you can find it relates with you, yep. or it can, mod it can uh, inspire you to do something. Mm. So I think apart from enabling somebody to, 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 to get out of, out of the academic environment, yes. 
somebody can you know such a book can give you an opportunity when you are in a relaxed mood yeah. and you feel you need your on on your voyage for example to one of uh, on in one of where you are you know tours yes. you can have this book and then as you go through the pages mm. you sh- you find either you are, can relate to it one way or the other mm. or it can give you an insight of what we had somebody went through yes to make it in life yes and i think for me what i've also realized is that as you read a book there are many opportunities that are not particularly written on the on the board on the wall yeah yes but if you're inquisitive enough yeah you are you can easily pick a very very developmental idea yeah. from someone's narrative mm-hmm. even when it wasn't intended for that that that's true that's true because as i said everyone has a story mm. every one of us you have a story and and sometimes we underrate your story mm-hmm. we underrate one story mm. you may think it's not valuable but when when somebody picks it and reads it you'll find that oh i think this makes makes it makes sense to me mm. and uh, in a way it can make uh, it can make a difference in his life right now endurance endurance seems to be a very strong word and when some people read endurance mm. A sure shot to victory. What would have informed your choice of this title? Yeah, I, I, I have through you know working with the populace, working with the people, mm. especially the youth. I've come to realize that most of our people think that uh, you know uh, they don't have the patience, they don't have the perseverance. Mm. Uh, many people have come to believe that life is uh, is as is easy. Mm-hmm. You make it so easy in life. So for me because my life has not been that easy mm. right from time of birth right through my school mm. that I trained do a lot of things I saw it as a, that if if you really endure and persist mm. uh, and uh, you can make it in life mm. and that's what I'm trying to communicate by telling people endure yes challenges will be there yes endure Um will you find uh, will you be faced with difficulties yes but you can endure and get over it mm. uh, is, is is life a say is life an easy sail no it calls for somebody to endure so that you can get you can get where you want to go mm. even 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 when you look like for example I'm a tree planter and the book it comes out that I'm a tree planter yep but tree, trees don't grow overnight <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You have to take the takes time yeah. for these trees to, to mature and then you can realize and but if somebody wants to make thought you would make quick money yeah. you would think you plant a tree today and tomorrow you harvest you harvest it is not that, that's not it mm. so even life you have to endure to be able to make make it in life mm. yes the waganda have a saying the tough fall you could do alone you know could tam tanu it says that no one talk about that means for you to really mature yeah you must go through this kind of endurance you mm. must have this you you go through endurance to be to mature in life and to be able to to persevere and resist the challenges in life All right, general what are those uh, just the two incidents that we can uh, that people can look out for in the book mm-hmm. that really de- depict your kind of tanul especially <laughs> in your beginning years yeah, yes for example when we during the recruitment yes. exercise in masaka yeah this was a very very challenging time yeah you know coming from school you have never been in a military environment yeah then uh, you know you are told to put off everything just remain in your shorts uh, no <laughs> shoes and at that time masaka had just gone through a war so there was a lot of rubble in the in the city yeah and we had to do i i don't know whether we did 20 or 30 kilometers of running wow through wow. all that kind of environment but because you we uh, i was the, because i had the target yes i had to endure mm, i had mm. to endure all that we, and it's good way when you have you know uh, as as you people come to see my book mm. we, the, me and my friends the general silver kayba we endured all the <laughs> the challenges <laughs> uh, until we, we we made it at the end of the of the recruitment exercise right mm. 
Uh, talking about your experience during your cadet training in, uh, in, in Tanzania. That one I would not want to open, but I would want people <laughs> to read what you went through yeah. during the Munduli training. It was another, another challenging environment again, mm. which called for a lot of uh, perseverance, a lot of endurance. Mm. Uh, just like we, so if somewhere in the book I talk about uh, how I was meant to run up the stairs where we were staying mm. for more than five times being told to go and bring the left socks. <laughs> <laughs> which I'd never known that there's a difference between the sock, the socks in the left and the socks in the right. Yeah. But my, my, my instructor wanted to see how much could I endure, how much could I persevere, much as it looked like nonsensical. Yes. But you know, it, it kept, it kept it saying, go back and forth, go back and forth. Mm. Uh, yeah. Until he said, but can't you realize there's no difference between the left and the right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, November 16th is uh, right at the corner. Yes. Uh, I don't know what you'd want to tell uh, our audiences and the readers out there yeah. about this upcoming uh, grand event where we uh, get to unveil this story. Well, thank you very much. First of all, this story of mine, as, as I, I would say, it's not, it's not fiction. Yeah. 